Hi, in this video we will see how to install PWA using PWA for WP plugin. So to do that first let's just go to plugins, add new. Now here we need to install the PWA for WP. So this is the one with the yellow gold icon and we'll just install it now. Now that it's installed, let's hit activate. So guys, this one is updated tutorial for 2021. And as of now, it's I guess Feb of 2021. So the best part of this plugin is that once you install it, it's being configured by itself out of the box and it will set up everything with the most nominal and recommended settings. If you see all the green right checks, then it means that everything is working perfectly for you. If not, then you might see the error message and there will be a documentation link for it. So in that case, you can just let me know in the comments. All right. So at this stage, we will just go to the setup and a few of the fields will be added. Few needs to be filled and uh, most of these settings are already configured for us. So at this point, if you just hit save settings, the PWA is going to work for you right out of the box. So that's it guys. That's how we do it. And uh, if you have the amp, make sure it is enabled over here. If you want to turn off PWA on the amp, you can just do it by clicking this checkbox and then hitting save. So that's how we do it. You see the install button. This is the PWA. Now the icon can be changed from here. You can change all the app name and the app design colors and all from the setup section. So that's how you do it guys. If you want some more important information videos like this, just let me know in the comments and I would be happy to help you. Thank you.